Say amen. Praise be to God indeed. We greet you in the name of Jesus. We are thankful to God uh, for the change that took place today. They are all there to do good to us. As you noticed, uh, the Bible study will be held afterward. Uh, because the visitor we have is coming from uh, outside the country. And we realize that it is better to learn about Christianity and politics. And we want to know what God says about Christians and politics. So she taught in another church before. So she'll come afterward. And we believe that she will find her way up to here uh, so that she can reach here. So that is why now the word of God is going to come before. So I encourage you also to be part of the Bible study and we want to also to inform the online community. Uh, so by the grace of God, I'm supposed to end uh, quarter to uh, quarter past noon. And then we'll have time to, for praise and worship. And uh, then we'll start the Bible study from half past noon. And we'll give her around 30 minutes as usual for the Bible study. So 30 minutes as usual. Actually, together with God, we may uh, end earlier than the planned time. So I want to inform you this so that all of us, we are still, uh, there is no change, se, and so everything is uh, in control, and they're going to receive everything. First of all, I want to ask you whether you saw this uh, banner. Uh, for the visitors and the host. So it is written 40 days that enables us to enter into a life of purpose. How many days? How many days? That enables us to enter into a life of purpose. Because there is God in heaven who desires that we have a life that is has a purpose. So we're going to spend 40 days uh, together. You know, focusing on this book, which is, uh, yeah, which is Purpose Driven Life, book, written by Rick Warren. So it was published a long time ago. Now, actually, it has been translated in so many languages. Uh, so it, it's not just a book, but it has a, a, a great lesson. Uh, numerous churches today they have started reading this book so you are not the only one uh, this is not a particularity of Omega Church numerous churches in our nation have started reading this book who has bought this book among you? so we can raise your hand please raise your hand so actually we had bought 300 books and they are all finished but we want to know those who are 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 so which means that those who bought the books who are not with us today so I encourage you because it cost 1,500 random francs and for those who don't have that money we have people in your respective cells who can buy them on your behalf so you need to clap your hands for that that's good news so the fact that you don't have it now either you don't gather often to get uh, required information or you are not attentive or you are not part of the home cells of home Bible so I encourage you to be closer to your friends so that you can get ample information concerning the book that I have started to read. so this is what I'm promising you there is no way you can read this book and continue to live the same life 
Because being those who are, are always praying and those who do not pray, so it has been useful for them. So and it reveals to you who you are. So I can just request you in the name of Jesus, let us walk together. Amen, amen. Praise be to God. So without further ado, we are going to read the word of God. We are going to read in Job chapter 12, starting from verse 9 to 10. So you realized that uh, now I use very few scriptures. But which are useful to us. Job chapter 12, verse 9 to 10. 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 And then you are going to read in Colossians, uh, first chapter, starting from verse 14 to 16. So we will be reading one verse in Rwanda and another in English. Who among all these does not know that the hand of the Lord has done this? In whose hand is the life of every living thing and the breath of all mankind? They can subire mo niwe. So I want to repeat. Niwe no kuvuginde imana. So here we are talking about it is God. Niwe fite mukubo kokuwe ubujingu wabugi chinu chose chizima no mwoka umono wes. In whose hand is the life of every living thing and the breath of all mankind? Now in Colossians, uh, first chapter, starting from verse uh, 14 to 16. In whom we have redemption through the blood, his blood for the forgiveness of sins. He's the image of the invisible God. The firstborn over all creation. For, for by him all things were created. That are in heaven. And, and that are on earth visible and invisible whether thrones or dominions or principalities or powers all things were created through him and for him give a hand clap to Jesus Ngaho sobanura ibyijambo wahumetse tanga ubuzima unyuze mu ijambo gira icyo usenya gira ibyo urandura gira ibyo wanga gira ibyo ushyiraho gira ibyo wubaka kubwi cyubahiro kizina rya Yesu Kristo vuga ngo amen say amen 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 imana ishimwe cyane praise be to god in munyemere mbanze mbasobanura iminsi 40 iravuga iki so please allow me to tell you about these 40 days uh, the, the meaning behind them 40 iravuga iki what does the 40 mean reka nkubwire twebwe nk'abasomyi ba bibiri cyo 40 nivuga so i want to tell you for us readers of the bible what 40 means musa yamaze iminsi 40 ku musozi wa sinai now Moses spent also 40 days at the mountain of Sinai. Uh, spent 40 days when they had gone to spy in the, into the promised land and in the end they were able to get it. David spent 40 days fighting against Goliath. Moses, uh, rather it is Moses who spent 40 years in the wilderness and he spent 40 days at the mountain of Sinai. So when God wanted to save uh, the city of Nineveh, he sent a prophet and the, for 40, in 40 days they were transformed. Yes, Jesus spent 40 days in the wilderness when he was being tempted by the devil and in the end he did overcome. So when he was risen, he revealed himself to his disciples for 40 days and they were able to get to know him better. So what I want to tell you is this. Uh, 40, 40 days have a secret of bringing transformation. According to the Bible, Without making 
religious based on what we see uh, 40 days have, have a meaning in the sight of God and we are also going to spend 40 days reading the book and also being in communion with God and I believe that there will be transformation in our personal lives yes, Praise Jesus indeed. so I plead with you believe in this but it will not just come Anyhow, you are going to take the book. So there is a chapter to read each day. And I want to tell you it does not happen by chance. So as humankind, we like receiving things. Uh, so you cannot receive something good without it something. There is no way you can be transformed without investing in it. So do something about these 40 days. Yes, May Jesus bless you. So, what is the meaning of a purpose? If you say that uh, purpose, so when we talk about uh, purpose-driven life, what, does, what is the meaning of purpose? Ubuzima bufite intego, ubuzima bufite purpose, ubuzima buri mu mugambi. Purpose-driven life. What does it mean? So let's first define the word purpose. What does it mean to have a purpose? When you say, I have a purpose or a goal to do something like this. I know that personally you do have goals. Let me give an example of something that you all know. You may have a goal to build a house for example. Whether you are a powerful person or not but you may have a purpose to build a house. Now when you have a purpose to build a house First of all you have it in your thoughts So is it enough to have it in your thoughts So because of the purpose you have arrived So you, your purpose makes you to arrive And it gives you the zeal And it also triggers you to work So it means you are going to arise and work you are going to save money to, to buy the plot of the land. And to a certain point you are going to get enough money to buy the plot. And now once you have received the plot. You are also going to buy a bricks and stones. But I want to ask you something. Now having a plot of land. Now and also having stones and bricks. Does it give you a, a house automatically? So please be attentive. Now to have a plot and also having bricks and stones. Are you already having a house? Not yet. So let's now have, having cement and having paint and having a builder. Is it does it give you a house? It doesn't give you a house. Yes, yes Jesus indeed. So it will require that together with the materials. And now the masons and the builder that they start to build. So slowly. As everything comes in his place. So tell your neighbor when everything comes in his place. So I you tell your neighbor because this is something so important. Slowly everything is being put in this place. So you're going not just going to bring the roof and put it in the roof. So you're not going to bring tiles and put them in the plot when yes, Jesus. So slowly everything is being put in, into its place. Who is still attentive? So I'm leading you somewhere. So slowly everything is being cooled in this place. To so a point where the house you had in your own house, you will see it physically. Hallelujah. Amen. And then you enter into it. Now you are able to see your 
uzaba ufite urugendo rwo kuno ubatsi iyo nzu on your own you be knowing the way you went through to build that uzaba house uzaba uzi hamakaro wayashiriyemo niba ufite amafaranga yayo and you be knowing when you put tiles in it if you had money uzaba uzi ukuno we numugore wawe mwatekereje ibyumba by'inzu and you be knowing how you and your wife were able to know about the designs of the rooms of the house uzaba uzi ukuno wagombye no kuva naho rukuta rumwe kuko hiyo ngereho ibintu utashakaga and how you had to demolish one wall because of extra things that you had not intended to to a point you'll be having the house complete yes Praise Jesus indeed wa mugambi wawe now your purpose wabonye mu bitekerezo byawe first you had in your own imagination now you are able to see it with your physical eyes when it is something that is complete this is also how you are uko niko na ukoze this is how you are made uko niko na uteye and this is how you are made ntabwo uri kuri isi kubwa impanuka you are not here on earth by accident numva ishaka kukubaza iki I want to ask you something. Wa wi yureba. When you observe. Kuchuriho. Why do you leave? Mbabarira gatutekereze igarukemo. Look at yourself. Kuchuriho. How comes you leave? Kuchuriho. How comes you leave? Harinda zavuyemo. There are there were miscarriages. Harinda zifujwe zitigeze zibaho. There are babies that people wish to have in vain. Harababaye hugiye gito barapfa. There are those who lived for a short while and they died. Harinda bifuje gupfa ntibarubona. There are also those who desire to die and they do not die. Kuchuriho. How comes you are alive? Kuchuriho. How comes you are alive? Tekereza gato kuchuriho. So think about it. How comes you are alive? Kuchuriho. How comes you are alive? Ni kibazo gikomeye. It is a big question. Abantu bagenda batanaza impamvu bariho. People leave without knowing the purpose of their life. Kandi utazi impamvu uriho. When you don't know the purpose of your life. Iyo utazi impamvu imivu itagutembanye. When you don't know the reason why you were not taken by flood. Iyo utazi impamvu wakubiswe kenshi ntupfe. When you don't know the reason why you were beaten so many times and you did not die. Iyo utazi impamvu wishwe ninzara kenshi ntupfe. When you don't know the reason why you were hungry and did not die. Ikije cyose kizagutwara mwana w'Imana. So whatever comes will overwhelm you. So as you leave you need to know the purpose of your life. Understand the purpose of your life. There are some people who you ask why are you alive? And they say I'm just alive. But I want to tell you. Your parents did not agree so that they can have you as a child. They did not agree. There are many people who desire to have children. How comes you are alive? How comes you are alive? Where are you heading to? When you don't know the purpose of your life, so everything can take you. There is one person. So he had a housemate. It's been 10 years ago. And that person committed suicide. I want to tell you the reason behind it. Because we knew that person closely. Because he knew that he will never have a child and get married. But now I want to ask you. Uh, do you know the the, the organization of uh, Calcutta? Do you know the founder of that organization? Do you know Mother Teresa? The do you know the good deeds that she did here? On earth? Did she have a a child? Even though a doctor may tell you that you don't have a child, even though you not be able to conceive, but the purpose of God is still upon your life. There is a reason to leave. I'm saying something that touches people. So I like the quotes of Mother Teresa. I like her quotes. Because even though she died, but her life is still speaking. So what I want to tell you. Why are you alive? Some people, when you ask them the purpose of their life, they look inwardly. And they say, I'm just a live and I'm striving to be a doctor. I'm striving to build a hospital. I want to save slowly and be a great business person. And the person who has not, is not in marriage will say, I want to have many children. And you think that there is a shop where you can go and buy children. So parents who are here, <laughs> There is no shop for children. There are those who desire to have children and did not get them at the time they expected. How comes you are alive? 
there's another one who says I'm going to study Zakomera. and I'll be a powerful person. So ha- do you know what is going to happen to you in the future? There are those who base on themselves to know the purpose of God. You should not base on yourself. Uh, because the purpose which is based on you, it is just based on your own conduct. Uh, there are times it may be based on 20 years of sorrow that you have there are times it may be based on the good time of having in a party so your life should not be built on so a person who builds looking when it fails where does he look at? so where does he look at when it fails so there are now those who look at others and who say in our family we are rich and I know that I'll, have a good time. I'll go around nations and I'll have a good time. I have means and I'll look for a wife for example. Now, those things that you're basing on when they come to an end, what will happen? Do you know they can come to an end? Yes, Praise Jesus indeed. So there are those who base on books. Now I say 10 steps to be successful, for example. Uh, five uh, steps that can give you peace. This is how you can discover the joy of life. You start with the first thing. Now, if people are strengthened by books, now what about those who do not read? So all those things are lies. All those things are Alive. What sustains you here on earth? You cannot find it. In books. You cannot find it from your relative who is rich. You cannot receive it just because you're in a particular country. But the purpose of God upon your life is based on God. And that is why Job says that everything that lives knows this. They know that they have a creator. They know that they live because there is a creator who desires them to be. They know that there is a creator. And even as humankind, we know that our breath, there is God who gave it to us. Yes, Praise Jesus. Now, knowing the, the meaning of life, it requires you to go back to the owner of everything. Now, Paul told us in Colossians first chapter that the, the thrones, all dominion, the visible and the visible, what is visible and the visible, they are all in God. And they were all deposited in Christ. Yes, Praise Jesus indeed. And he's the one who keeps. So he lived before everything. And he enabled everything to have a existence you. And you also live for him. Hallelujah. Amen. If, if you want to know how something works if you want to know how a machine works so when you want to know how something works you need to ask for the manufacturer When you want to know how something works, if you want to know how something works, you need to ask the manufacturer. Let me tell you. There are times I went pajamas for children. You know those that are on fashion. And then when I reached home uh, during noon time, I realized that uh, the husband put them on on the chair. Those were really nice, you know, the, the trouser and the shirt. So now the child was wearing pajamas. So if you don't know the purpose of something, you use it for the wrong purpose. Uh, so I'm not the one who uses this as tool, as you know. You are able to see it. So I want to tell you. Now it's because you, 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 you live in town. 
Si change. It doesn't belong to me. Uh, this is another teaching or uh, lesson that one teaches. Si it doesn't belong to me. But if you do not know it, if you don't know what it is, I want to tell you, it will require you time uh, to read the manual. You read the manual and that is when you understand well how does this tool is used. You know this? Now, what am I? Guess. I try to look for something that you will not be able to know. But his owner knows it. Uh, this is a massaging tool. You can press the button and you know how to But if you, you are not aware, definitely, but it also has its own manual. This one. And you are able to, get to, know, to know what that tool is. Give a clap to Jesus. Brethren. Uh, do you know that even a medicine that is given at a hospital, you need to read the notice. And they tell you how many times you're supposed to take it, whether you're supposed to take it before you eat or, or even other medicines that, that, that complement this one. The reason why you're not supposed to, to, to take overdose so that you can feel good as you take the medicine. So what is the purpose? purpose of your life. Where do you come from? Where did you come from? The, the meaning of your life. Go back to your creator. Go back to your creator. Brethren, so you are a, you are a secret you are a mystery and your meaning is in the one who created you your meaning is hidden in the one who created you so your meaning is not in your classmate it is not in your husband and it is not in your wife so the meaning of your purpose here on earth the meaning of the reason why you are created go back to your creator so that he can tell you the reason why you created you. and he, uh, to tell you the reason why there was no miscarriage about you and the reason why the same studies you went through are the one that you are the and the reason why you are created in that way and the benefit he has in that and, and tell you how he has interest in the way you are created in any way so go back to the creator unless you go back to God the creator of all of us you'll take your life and you'll be the one telling God please follow me and you'll make yourself whatever you want here on earth. and you'll be requesting God to come and rub a stamp so God is not your slave God is not your slave. God is not your slave. God is your creator. So a port cannot tell the, 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 the porter, why did you make me this way? You were molded. And there is a, the one who wanted you to have life. And there is the one who instructed that you have your specific parents and there is one who said let you be created with this so and that we. so go back to him so we. go back to him and know the purpose of your now life you are also that house that we Hallelujah. talked about we are temples of God. We are the vessels of God. But the value of you and I starts from the time the owner of the house comes and occupies it. He pleases to dwell in you. He is pleased to dwell in you. And he is pleased to walk in you. He is pleased to guide you. Ubu buzima bwaba 
bwagira meaning bwagira igisobanuro bwagira umunezero so that he can tell you how this life of yours can have meaning and joy urabizi yo nta ntego y'ubuzima nta purpose mu buzima ufite when you don't have a purpose in life umuhungu arakwangukiye ahuru when a young man rejects you you can commit suicide mana nazi iki kuri isi and say oh lord why did i come here on earth so did you just come here on earth because of that young man so is that like your life equal to that young man so if the husband offends you three times you say i'm going to divorce no no muranyic so i hope you are not going to stop so three times actually sometimes the even husband can speak once and then he starts saying don't you think that i don't have my own home? so the meaning of your life so if you don't you are not able to go to school for example there's a person who told me that he wants to commit suicide because they could not he could not find tuition fee you may love that person and you may think that what they did is be despised but be careful it's not knowing the purpose of your life here on earth. so there are people who are not learned but who are, have a good life there are people who don't go to school but who have a good life there are people who don't have many cows but who are happy so the meaning of life is not what you get because if you are not able to get them you go crazy so the meaning of life you need to go back to the owner so that you tell you step by step where you have reached to so i like this brother i like it when my creator tells me where i have reached to in the journey and the things that makes me happy and i enjoy it when he tells me that what is making me weak is this when he tells me he has called me for something that goes beyond my teeth so what he called me goes beyond what I can see and what I'm lacking so what you are called for goes beyond what you can see with your eyes so if, so if your purpose is to accumulate money when you lack money you go crazy Niyo mpamvu nuba vide mu mutima wawe wiri rwushaka urukundo umunsi warushatse ukarubura tuzakubura Therefore if you are always chasing love but if you lose it you are not able to get it Na kubereyeho gushaka urukundo rw'abantu So you don't live just to chase the love of you Bazo shakurwa wawe hallelujah First of all you need to seek the love of your creator Urukundo rw'akuremye ni rukuzura uzanyurwa When you are filled with the love of your creator you'll be satisfied Nindu kinkuriki Who is still attentive so understand the purpose of your life your hallelujah life. yes ashimwe cyane praise jesus indeed so you are a mystery so the one who created you when he reaches into that house, because this is my prayer for you he holds your hand so, first of all he destroys everything in you that he did not build what you took from your parents what you grabbed from your friends what you took from books all those things which are not right he removes them and then he he gives you a chance again to have a new life and he tells you that life is good yes ashimwe cyane Praise Jesus indeed. And life is good indeed because he knows where he's taking you. And he knows that if you are jobless today it is not permanent. And he knows if you are lacking tuition fee, that is not the only promise you have with him in heaven. So with God, there is nothing impossible. So it happens to you just because you want to quicken things. Because what you are asking for, you want it to happen so quickly 
because he wanted to be done kukushaka ko kakazi kaza vuba na because he wanted job to come quickly kukushaka ko amugaba za vuba because he want the husband to come quickly kukushaka ko rwa rukundo rwihuta because he want the love to be hasten nk'umuntu urarambirwa but as a human being you become Ari impatient kujezemo. but when he reaches in you azigihe he knows the time azigihe buri kintu kizazira he Hallelujah. knows the right time for everything Akuba to come akubaka nkayanzu twavuze and he builds you like the house we talked about ntabwo uzafata mabati ngo yakubite ku buta you will not just take the roof and put it on the, on the plot and say you are also a house so tell your neighbor everything is built at the right time so face your neighbor Buri kintu kijya kuri iyo nyubako mu gihe cyacyo mu mwanya wa Everything is put on that house at the right time Sigaho kushushubika no muremyi wawe So you should not try to make your Sigaho kumutege kuko ibintu bigomba kumera Just because things are supposed to be that way Wahera mwitangirira akavuga iherezo He knows the end from the beginning Akuzu uyu munsi azaho uzaburejo azino kuzamera umwaka utaha He knows you how you are today and how you will be Kore. So allow him to do it. Hallelujah. Amen. Uri kibumba no kimana. You are a vessel of God. Uri code. You are a mystery. Uri code. You are a mystery. Ukeneye hishurirwa ngo umenye uri we. So you need a revelation to know who you are. Ukeneye wakuremye ngo akubwira agenda hambura buhora kubwira uri wa hambura buhora kubwira uri ahambura kubwira uwo akubwira naho mugeze akubwira no kunimbera ari heza byanze So you need your creator to unfold you and to tell you where you have reached in the journey. Hallelujah. Turangiza. So as we come to the end. Twemera kuri ibanga. Uh, accepting that you are a mystery. and allow him to tell you who you are and the purpose of your life here on earth so my prayer is that you accept to work with him may you not be a tool of human beings because if you do not serve the lord you become a tool of other people so the fashion will come and take you Abajene haleluya young the youth vuguti fashion tell the fashion mode fashion ibigezweho so what is you know on fashion kiragutwara so it will take you away and it will rule over you and it will give you the principles of life and you live according what is based on what is on you were not created for that purpose you were created by the creator to tell you who you are so as of today all of us are going to tell the creator of human beings God the father of all of us and say oh God I'm coming back I I'm convinced that I belong to you. I'm convinced that I'm a building who have not accepted its landlord to come and live in it. But if you have also accepted him to come and dwell in you, allow him to rule over you. Allow him to lead you. And allow him to tell you where you're you to. Starting from today, you should not instruct God to follow you. Is there someone who is listening? Starting from today. And stop hastening God because you may come out of this life as you are chasing wind. Uh, Solomon said nine times in the book of Ecclesiastes and said everything is in vain. It's just chasing wind. Uh, wealth. Uh, power there is nothing on earth today that will all, not always continue to be yes, praise Jesus so the wind may come from the west to east and go back so the, wind may come from the west to east and go back the same thing happens to the sun. And all the waters here on earth, they end up being <inaudible> in So they're, they're always in a vicious cycle. 
yigeze kubaho there is nothing on earth that never existed we should before tukarir. so you should not be surprised we should harer and you should not warm yourself ibiriho bizarangira so what you can see will come to now zarangira even yourself will come to you hazazundi utariwo there is someone else who will come ariko gihuriho but as you still live koresha ubuzima bwawe neza use your life in a good yes, way yes praise jesus they can some jambo rya nyuma so let's read the last scripture to sing before we pray yes i am going to read in isaiah 46 verse 10 and then ephesians 210 hanyuma dusenga imana then we are going to pray to god mera mwitangiriro uwo ni imana this is god speaking declaring havugi herezo declaring the end from the beginning mera mu bihe bya kera nkavuga itarakorwa nkavuga ni imigambi yangi zakomera kandi byo nzashaka byose nzabikora and from ancient times things that are not yet done saying my counsel shall stand and i will do all my pleasure yarirahiye ngo umugambi we muri wowe no mwemerera ibyo yashatse kuri wowe bizasohora so god vowed if you allow him his purpose upon your life will be fulfilled kubutari wamenye impamvu uriho so the fact that you don't know the purpose of your life si kibazo ki it is not his issue ni kibazo cyawe it is your personal issue uyu munsi uhindukire so today you need to turn ibi nkubwira si dini so what i'm telling is not religion ibi nkubwira si bigatolika it is not catholic si bidive it is not for adventists si biporoso it is not for protestants si bi omega it is not for omega ni jambo ry'imana isumba byose but it is the word of god of the most high so turn to God. He starts from the beginning. And knows your end. So the days of your lives he knows. Now ask for his wisdom before you become foolish. So now we're going to read in Ephesians chapter 2 verse 10 before we pray. So for and no, no, ndiho ndavuga ndavuga abemeye Yesu bose all those who accepted Jesus bakemera izina rye and believed in his name bakemera imbaraga ze and accepted his power bakemera ubushobozi imana yashyize muri we and the ability that God has put in him abo ngabo nibo bariho bavuga hariyo so these are the ones they are talking about here kuko turabo yaremye ituremeye imirimo myiza muri Yesu Kristo iyi imana yiteguriye kera kugira ngo wowe nange tuyigenderemo Ephesians 2:10 Mm, just one second. we're going to read in Ephesians 2:10 it says for we are his workmanship created in Christ Jesus for good works which God prepared beforehand that we should walk in them so there is no way you can walk in the good works concerning a life unless you are aware of that. because it is your creator who has the same words, the Lord Jesus Christ. and he has deposited them in Jesus Christ. Yes, Praise Jesus. I'm coming to the end. So I've winded up. So now let's ask one another. What is the purpose of your life? What is the purpose of your life? Your life? What is the purpose of your life? What is the purpose of your life? Do you, are you here just to drink and eat and die? How comes you are alive? Turangirije ku ijambo rivuga ngo So we are ending to this a passage which says Ubundi uh, turiho actually we we'll leave so that in Jesus Christ uh, it is in him our good works what you're supposed to be doing here on earth it is in Jesus inama ngugira nukuhura na Kristo kugira ngo imirimo yawe itangire isobanuke so my advice you need to meet with Jesus first so that your works can have a meaning. And if you have encountered with Christ, I'm asking you this.
Do you ask him the purpose of your life? Do you allow him to guide your steps? Do you allow him so that the, those good works concerning your life are able to fulfill them? What about what if you are among those who say, I go to know you now, what should come next is just to follow me. And you say, the bank is looking for me urgently, just follow me. Now, my parents are calling me, come quickly so that we can respond to our parents. Now, my friends, they desire me. Now all those things are not bad. But if you live for Christ, now Paul said to live, it is good living for Christ and also dying is good. If you know that you live to put in order the same works you were created for. So in one way or the other, you should not lose <laughs> life. Make your life productive. So what God is expecting from you is to encounter and walk together. And you walk together in Jesus Christ. So as the worship team comes forward, I am going to pray for you. Uh, I want them to lead us in a song which says, I was in darkness. There's a song they sang which says, I was in darkness. As we are still. So reflect on what we're talking about. What is the direction of your life? What is holding your life than other things? Which information do you have? Which information do you have about your life? I know that today there is information that you received. So, but change your direction. Change the direction. There is no way you will be satisfied in this life. If you think that it is money that will bring satisfaction. If it is life that we expect from a particular person. That if you think to live in a big house and your own house, that is when joy will come. All those things will pass one by one. But I'm telling you, you'll feel empty. So whenever you have not yet called upon God to come and give you the joy of life. Whenever you always deceive yourself that things here on earth that will be satisfaction. It will continue all the time. Because that's not how God created you. God did not create you to get joy that comes from others. Actually, those you are looking for to give you joy. God did not create you so that you receive your joy from material things. God created you so that he can give you a reason to have joy in his purpose. So as we reflect on the things that we heard, so please meditate on this. I want you to make the right choice to please my desire. What is the purpose of your life? What, is, what are you doing on this earth? Who put you here on earth? And who sustained you up to now? Who enabled you to overcome all those diseases? Who enabled you not to be overtaken by the sorrows of this world? So you are the, he's the one you are going to respond to today.